Hi there, today we're going to highlight the process for getting this laser up and running. Desktop lasers like this machine are capable of working all sorts of projects, from small detailed works to larger functional prototypes. Safety-wise, we have one big concern for this machine. Because it uses a laser to heat up and burn material, we do have just a small chance of fire. Because of that, the operator must stay with this machine the entire time it's running. If a fire does occur, we have four steps to address it. First, we'll open the lid, which will stop the laser from running, and remove the main ignition source from the flame. If that doesn't stop the fire, we'll smother it with another piece of wood, removing oxygen from the flame. If the first two steps don't stop the fire, we can spray it with some water. Our very last method of dealing with fire is using a fire extinguisher. This is the worst case scenario and should only be used if the prior three steps did not succeed in putting out the flame. All of our laser projects start on the computer. I'm starting with a pretty basic design, so there isn't much I'll need to adjust on it. I'll first adjust the laser settings by going to File and Print and selecting Preferences. Here I can tell the laser what my material is and if I'm using a fixture. In order to accurately focus the laser, I'll need to measure the thickness using calipers, just like this. Now I'll take the measurement and enter it here, in the thickness field. We're done editing the settings, so I can hit OK and then print. I'll open up the laser dialog by clicking Universal Laser Systems. Before we begin cutting, we need to make sure to turn the air filter on. And you can just hit this green switch right down here. If we forget to do this, it'll fill the chamber with smoke and can damage the laser lens. Now that the filter's on, we can begin cutting. With the lid closed, I'll press start, which is in this bottom right, and then the laser will begin to do its job. Now that the laser is done, I can turn the filter off down here, lift up the lid, and pull this out. 